Here, I'll record. Wonder, have you ever considered playing Cookie Clicker on camera? Nope, not really. I've played a couple of... Uh, I've played a couple of, like, idle games on camera, but I pretty much had to use uh, speed cheats to make it interesting. So specifically, I played a game called Great Hero's Beard a while back and put in a considerable amount of time into that using a uh, using speed hacks, and it worked really well. Hey, thank you, your daily reporter, for the sub. Welcome on in. We're playing Snurks. There we go. I'm just gonna go in little circles. Clicker Hero 2 was played on stream with speed hacks for like an hour or two. Yeah, it was like an hour, hour and a half. It was, that was painfully boring. Because that game had progression systems, but you had to like, start over, over and over again. And it got really dull, really fast. Like, Great, uh, Great Hero's beard was pretty quick. Whereas, like, most other idler and clicker games is just, like, they're just so slow. Uh, hate, a, uh, hate how everything increases exponentially. Yeah, I'm not big on that. I, I like my, um, I like my incremental games to kind of be a much slower increment, uh, with a lot more, like, meaningful choices as opposed to, like, you do... do Five times ten to the e th uh, carrot bedillion, and it's just like, cool. This means nothing to me. You know, at this point, these numbers are so inflated that I have I have no connection to them anymore. They just exist. And it's like I think there's kind of a there is definitely I don't want to say a mystique. I I would definitely argue that there there is an attraction to the idea of having really big number, but it works way better in games like, um, it works way better in games like Roll or Luck Be a Landlord, where you really have to work to get that big number. And when you do, it feels satisfying because you've, you kind of earned it and you found out the strategy to get there. Most incremental games, it's just time. It's not a matter of strategy or anything like that. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so Divine punch Punishment. Periodically deal 10 times damage to all enemies where X is how many mages you have. Or Echo Barrage. Chance to create three secondary AoEs on hit. I'm going to go Divine Punishment. The other one is great. Don't get me wrong. Let's see. One of your favorite incremental games is The Dark Root Room. It's quite short and sweet with a surprising amount of depth. I lost interest in it once you started actually exploring. I felt like that would have almost been better uh, handled in terms of... I'm, I'm going to say almost dispassionately like af elsewhere. Or not elsewhere. But like you send people off. You don't have to worry about like some kind of weird RPG segment. I did like it, though, back when I played it. I thought it was pretty good. I just never felt compelled to finish it. Like, the beginning of that game felt really good. But yeah, someday I'll sit down and, and actually play some good incremental games. Honestly, like, I wouldn't even mind, uh, with, like, my indie game lightning round, doing another incremental game lightning round. Where we play it, uh, we play like 15 minutes regular, and then I turn on the speed hacks, and then we see like how the game holds up much faster. And those green nuggets are actually real spooky. Uh, let's see. So what are you fighting in this? Beans. I, d I don't know what I'm fighting. They could be mongooses, they could be any number of things. Alright, so we're going into the elite fight. 
I mean, I guess I'll just grab all of them. I was really hoping for some more, uh... I was really hoping I'd... I'd find some more goodies, but alas. At least, like, one or two more mages would make this a lot easier. Okay. There we go. Well, this sucks. I'm gonna go Wall Rider. I wanna go Wizard. I'm just gonna hold on to this. I really wanna go for a Wizard build. And they've already given me the Divine Intervention. I love the idea of the other one. Oh, well that sucks. That puts me in a very bad spot. Yeah, the orange guy charged me right at the last second. Maybe Divide Intervention still triggers, though. It does. Okay, that's... That's promising, at least. But I, I hate the Chomp Beasts. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, actually, Wall Rider is pretty dang good. Because I can use that to get out of... out of... where I am. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's... that's actually incredibly helpful. Please give me some wizards. A lich would be lovely. I guess I'll take the clerics and slap on a scout just because. Alright, so we, we're pretty much still kind of in the pits. Please don't... Ow. Okay. This guy is spooky. Yep. That was bad. Yeah, I don't have sufficient firepower because I'm not getting what I need. Sell the Vagrant and grab a Priest. There we go. Grab the Barrager as well. Okay, so now we've got the Lich. Launches a slow projectile that jumps seven times, dealing a ton of damage per hit, and... AoE damage in a large area centered around a random target. That should be good. Hey, and thank you, General Bacon, for the five gifted sub. Little brother's birthday, so I'm in the gift giving mood. Hey! Major congrats to him, I guess. Alright, so now we've got the cleric and the priest. So we've got crazy healing and some pretty decent AoEs. And yeah, those AUEs are massive. Okay, stay away from that. There we go. Don't let it hit any one specific part and we'll be okay. okay. 
I've got some concerns. Never mind. I've got some big AoEs. Alright. Unleash area... Yeah. Unleash. 1% area size and damage per second. I don't necessarily know how that triggers with everything, but that's okay. So, Enchanter, projectiles with chain lightning, deal damage to enemies. Which is pretty good. Let's get rid of the archer for Stormweaver. Tragically, does not actually count as a mage. But it's fine. Okay, that's good enough. We're about to get a level 3 wizard. Okay, Unleash was nerfed, but it's still super strong. Good to know. There we go. Stay away from it for a hot second. And what? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm super thankful we've got a priest in this mix. Lost something. I think that was the Lich? It's okay, we're good. Not quite there. Could go Conjurer, but I don't think I want it. Work on Cleric. There, now level 3 Wizard. Pyromancer. Nuke or Voider. Nearby enemies take extra total damage. Get rid of the Barrager, grab that. I could also get rid of the Cleric and grab the Fairy. Would give me the Enchanter. Yeah, let's go Fairy. Okay. I don't care about the Flagellant. Oh boy, that's a big AoE. And I think that gets bigger over time. There we go. We just have to not die. Unfortunately, we're getting absolutely slamma-jammed by a whole bunch of blues. Which is rough. We lost two segments there. Okay. So Chronomancer, oh, is a mage. Do we get rid of the Stormweaver? Actually, yes. We'll get rid of the Stormweaver in favor of the Chronomancer. Who the last wizard is. And yeah, the main problem is I don't think there's a single mage like healer in the game. Honestly, I might just want to stay happy with what I've got. I know the Stormweaver is great, but I've already got really good AoE. Um I was thinking the attack speed would work better for me. Oh shit. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, they're throwing a lot of blues at me today. Uh, attacks by mages, nukers, or voiders have a chance to create a void rift. I mean, yeah. There's also awakening, but I feel like void rift is better. What do we, what do you guys think? Void rift or awakening? Yeah, let's go Void Rift. Okay. Don't care for any of these or these. Wow, I have a lot of money. Oh, Cryomancer would have been the last one. Oh, that's tough. I 
Do I want to go for Mage 6? And who would I get rid of? Probably Fairy? Or we get rid of the Priest. The Priest is good. Let's get rid of the Priest. Cryomancer. Okay, so now the Pyromancer and the Cryomancer are layered on top of each other. That should be pretty... Pretty decent. If I can get it working. There's also the Psykeno, but I don't think I actually want a Psykeno. Alright, next level Pyromancer. Boy, where did I get all this money from? Why is it only giving me grabbage? Give me my fairy. Bah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, those pyromancer upgrades are... Goofy strong. Okay, lost the Cryomancer. I think I'm fine, though. Yeah, so the fairy is definitely on the kind of low end of healing. I'm just mostly thinking if I can get that higher level of fairy, it'll be better. But I might want to replace it with a priest. Come on. Yeah, fine. There we go. I like the idea of the fairy, but I think we need more team healing than the reverse. Yeah. Okay. This got sufficiently silly. Alright, there we go. Pure healer run next. I was thinking of a healer conjurer run. I feel like uh that has perfect overlap and I could get I could max out both. Alright, now we have that level two. Well there's the fairy. It's too late, and I, honestly I don't think I like the fairy that much. Stormweaver. I don't have one. We're looking for Lich, Chronomancer, and Elementor. Well, there's one. Oh, Priest. Okay. So I'm definitely on the ridiculously strong side of things. We have a little bit to fear. But I think going going priest in the end was actually the right move. Especially if we, if we can get the max level of priest. Okay. Explosive arrow. Not that helpful. Hive. No. Berserking. No. All of these are bad. Explosive arrow is incredibly good, though. Like, I want that on a ranger run someday. Just not this one. Alright, there we go. Level 3 Lich, or level 2 Lich. This is working out. This is, this is solid. I just have to be very wary of blues. Ah. Especially because I don't get a whole lot of immediate control over when and where they die. Oh. Nope. Whatever was spawning in there just died instantly. Gosh, that AoE over time is obscene. Look at it go! 
Look at how big it gets. Okay. I guess the one thing I could do is potentially replace the wizard with the Psykino. Uh, maybe. I don't think I will, though. Wonder, can I ask you a question? I mean, yeah. I might not always answer. Especially if it's something that, like, I don't want to answer. Like, uh, that's always the, the thing I run into. Oh, boy. There were some blues in there. Um... There we go. Uh... Ow. Okay. It's okay. It's just the wizard. That was the cryomancer. I think we're fine. It's just... Those guys explode and do a lot of damage to me. Yep. We will be fine. There we go. But anyways, I always... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of when people ask me, it's like, can I ask you a question? Because the answer is just like, I don't know. <laughs> it really depends on what the question is. Because if it's like, can you shout out my channel? No. Can you... Uh... Can you meet my son in person to tell... Tell him what YouTubing is like? Also, no. I got that question a little while ago. It was weird. Uh, I didn't like it. Okay, all mages cast their spells faster. Well, that's great. All AoE attacks deal extra damage per unit hit. Oh, that's insane. Uh... I feel like Chronomancy is my best option. Like, Resonance would be goofy strong. Although the Void is not helpful. Hey, there's the Elementor. Finally! Okay. Nope, we're good. So do we ever make a video on how to make Wander Ramen? I don't make ramen. I make chili. I make some mad chili. Uh, which, I guess on that topic, I'm actually planning on on trying to record a video of me cooking uh, cooking my chili tomorrow. There we go. How'd you come up with your name? I got a video for that over on Motorbot Prime. That's some elementers. There we go. The snake get longer. We max out on on seven. But yeah, I, I, part of my goal with Wonderbot Prime is very specifically to have, uh, effectively, a lot of those basic questions just answered there instead. To save myself time. So I don't have to answer it every single time. And also, it's actually really validating working on, uh, video essays. I really should pay attention to where I'm driving. I'm just, I'm so obscenely strong at this point, due to the per combination that we were rolling, that I'm not necessarily that afraid of things. Okay, another level on the Cryomancer. We're getting there. Another Priest. Another Pyromancer, another Cryomancer, another Lich. And then we gotta stop. Let's see. Just gotta keep my distance from the orange. Let's see. Wonder, how do you do it? Streaming, uploading, so on and so forth. Uh, sheer volume-wise. I mean, 
lack of editing is usually the biggest thing. Uh, unlike a lot of channels who do like really highly edited stuff, my content is very much just kind of uh, relatively well. I mean, it's uncut, which I think works really well for certain games and really poorly for others. Kind of depends. This is obscene. I originally was like, I don't know if I need the Cryomancer and the Pyromancer, and the answer is nope, I needed needed them. These are super helpful. Um, I mean, the other thing is straight up, like, this is my job and my hobby, and it makes it a lot easier. Oh. AoE damage, clearly. Okay. I think we're going to get rid of the wizard. Maybe? Maybe not, actually. It's not... It's not too late, to. Yeah, wizard is really good with a chain hit. It's just mainly the wizard is really low range at this point. Yeah, okay. We'll keep it. Who's not actually helpful? I mean, the one option is... I could get rid of the Chronomancer. Because the Chronomancer is 20% extra attack speed. But... The Spellblade would be kind of similar, but the main thing is those knives are super handy. Wonder, do you revisit games that you've demoed? For example, going under had an update, or when Ooblitz finishes, uh, yes. I, I absolutely go back. I just don't go back that often. Yeah, let's get rid of the Chronomancer. Because here's the thing. Spellblade synergizes specifically with Divine Punishment. Um... Yeah, these are not damage over time effects. Hey, Priest level 3. Fix three units of random, grants them a buff that prevents death once. Well, that's super helpful! Oh, the Chronomancer was a mage. It's fine. Oh! Cryomancer. Enemies are also slowed by 60% while in the area. Well, that's huge. Alright, we good. But yeah, I really want those spinning knives. Uh, which seems kind of paradoxical, but they're effectively little uh, zoomy landmines that I don't have to be near my enemies for them to take effect. Which ends up actually being incredibly strong. Like, incredibly strong. Welcome to my AoE. Y'all didn't kill me fast enough, so I'm here to just wreck face. Bouncy, 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 you cannot stop me. I make pretty pattern. I make pretty pattern as I move. We. I guess the one immediate downside to losing the Chronomancer is we do lose the attack speed on the Priest. But I'm fine with this. Okay. More Pyromancer? Absolutely more Pyromancer. Because if I can max that out, I will be a happy camper. Uh, let's see. Work on the work on the lich. I think we're good. Can the knife come out faster with more attack speed. Yes, everything can. Like I, I'm, I'm definitely not sure if the uh, 
if my choice on going with that spell blade was the right one. I just, those knives are super helpful as kind of a deterrent. There we go. Gosh. I am goofy busted. We might actually make it all the way this time. Normally when I play this, you know, we, we usually choke around the blue boss. Or before that. And now we're just like, we're cruising. I guess it's the importance of actually having a really strong build. Oh, lost the Pyromancer. That's actually kind of rough. might want to switch the Spellblade out for a uh, Chronomancer in the end. Just for that slight, that 20% extra healing is kind of important. I think we're mostly fine though, boy. Is one or not finished this game yet? And this will probably be my first win. We're almost there. Hey, level 3 Lich. That's a big one. I was really hoping I'd... Uh, let's see. I guess I'll grab it. I was really hoping I'd, I'd be able to get the... Uh, Pyromancer to maximum before we're done. Okay. Whoa! I was not ex exactly expecting that. Oh, well, I've killed the elite. Can we be done yet? There we go. Okay. Probably Crucio. Alright. Last level, elite. Probably gonna roll down on this one. Uh, yeah, let's sell the spell blade. Get the Chronomancer back. Okay. Level 3 Elementor. Come on, Pyromancer. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Lead is dead. We lost some there, but we're fine. Congratulations. We beat the game. Made this game in three months as a dev challenge. I'm happy with how it turned out. Like, didn't want to play more? Cool. Keep playing. All right. New game plus with plus one max snake size. Oh no, but... I mean, I like the max snake size, but I was really hoping I'd be able to keep my snake. Oh, that's a shame. I am sad now. It's worth it, but I am sad now. Let's go for the, uh, the conjurer build. 